All right, guys, Mongo 68, a follow-up on that video we just shot a while ago on the buff and the dash. You know, when you take that big buffer like that, whatever you do, do not try this at home without an adult supervision. Going on with the hand glaze now. Of course, every now and then we have to hire an adult to supervise us. Oh, that's going to be nice. First thing you get in that car, see the dash, that is going to be real nice. That's what it takes to have a nice car. Oh, oh. Reading the instructions. That's a hand glazed material, I guess, after. Yeah, I'm not the buffer, I'm the welder. I do the welding, Butch does the shining. But we're finishing it up. It's gonna look real, real good. There, earlier there was a little bit of orange peel right there in the front of the dash, we went in and we sanded a little bit more. Took that out. I mean, when you set in this car now, that, that is going to be uh, real, real nice. So now that's the, they call that hand glaze product, I guess. I'm not the buffer. Not sure putting a nice finish on it. I think over the years, Glenn, you know, we've done oh, numerous 65 GTOs, and Glenn, like I said, generally done the, the buffing or the painting on them, and uh, I think he's found this product where it's, he understands it, knows how to use it, looks real good. This is not X14, this is rubber, it's an eraser that I put in this container, so don't. <laughs> This stuff is killer for a dry wash. Yeah, that's just the vessel the products and that's not the product he's using. I didn't have no mildew, mildew in my dish. That's just the vessel. This is the product, it's kind of like a dry wash. It's an excellent product to use on his GTOs. See, he's done the paint on that 77 vet that's sitting out in the street when he's driving his fueling. It turned out real nice. But you know what's, what's real, it's almost scary, it's uh, once this is done, I've got the, the firewall pad to go in. Realistically then, it's, uh, it is going for the final bolt together and going down to paint, so it's getting real, real close to getting finished. And you really can't see it in the, in the video here, but I mean, that is one nice unit. And like I said, with that type of buffing and finish on it, I mean, every time now I go back in and put some type of that final finished product on it, it's just going to get shinier. Not that it needs to be, but watch, it looks nice. That's what I said the other night about the, you know, the dash, the uh, instrument cluster. They are marginal, but when you get everything else that looks so nice, your eyes don't go to the bad places. Okay. That's a wrap. We'll look at it. Oh, it looks real good. Yeah, you couldn't uh, you couldn't buy any better than that. You can't hit those edges there. You'll buff through those. Correct. Yeah. See, that's that's why the tapes here on this edge, you know, where the dash goes together, and up here on the top, you just, because it'll it'll you'll go through the well, you just buff through the paint, and the bottom down here. You know, when you first get in the car, you see that that's that's where your eyes are going to go. That is one nice looking dash. And like I said, you couldn't take it anywhere and get anything better than that. 
That's nice. We might go ahead and butt the front of that one more time on here too. All right, we're just uh, just to follow up to that first video on the dash buff. It looks real good. I'll start putting it together. All right, good night.